I'm Stuart Bloor. I'm on my local canal. It's first light. No doubt you can hear the birds singing behind me and I'm perch fishing. I did have a nice surprise. Well, I say nice surprise. Depends which side of the fence you sit on, of course. But I had a surprise this morning when I arrived at the canal. It's a Staffordshire canal and there was an otter in my swim. So that was uh, something to kick the day off with, wasn't it? Anyway, I've got the rods out. I'll show you my, uh, my setup in a moment. Got the rods out on the far bank fishing worm with, uh, with a ledger set up and as always hopeful confident of course what's the point of going fishing if you think you're gonna blank it's a nice day but it will be when the sun comes up properly and the mist burns away and I'm hopeful of, uh, of a nice perch just here for a few hours and I do fish the local canal quite a lot for perch particularly these days with the cost of petrol. Can't afford to travel all around the country just for a few hours, can you? So I've got uh, three hours this morning and I'm doing that uh, time on the canal after these perch. Got one. I've been having a few taps already, so the otter didn't do any uh, any lasting damage. But there are roach in here, of course, and they do pick the worm up. I'm fishing a whole worm. They do pick it up and and drop it. But when the bite persists like it is now, there's a good chance it's a perch. Although I'm fishing with a bite alarm, I, I do watch the end of the rod as well. It's not just about relying, oh, pulled out of it. It's not just relying on the, on the sound. You do have to keep your eyes open as well. I've pulled my, uh, my bait in and look what's on the end of the hook there. It's a big scale. So I think that was actually a, that was actually a carp there. At least I pulled through into a carp anyway. I think I might have one this time. I think wrong. At last. And it's a perch. Not perhaps the uh, size that I'm after, but. There it is. Another perch. A little bit bigger this time. I've been catching a, a few smaller ones. I don't need the net though. Just lift it out. And hold it up for the camera. In fact, I can take the hook out. There it is. Just a tiny one, isn't it? But uh, my favourite fish, and I, and I love them all. If you want to find out how I get on in the rest of the session and of course the sessions that will follow this then check out the article, the details will be uh, appearing on the screen now. <laughs>